Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word from William Brooks. The title is, Behold, the restitution of all things is near. And this word was posted July 9th, 2024. From Yeshua HaMashiach, the times of restitution are approaching the earth. But first, the times and consummation of the great judgment must be fulfilled. And I, Christ Jesus, will judge the earth, for the earth is mine and the fullness thereof. And I have purchased the earth in my atoning blood at Calvary. Of an unchangeable truth, I gave every drop of my innocent blood that I shed for the sins of mankind. For those who accept my offer of peace and eternal life, there will be peace and eternal life, and the ways of the righteousness will prevail. For those who reject my offer have chosen the ways of death, judgment, and eternal punishment. For the world passes away, and there is no other choice, and so they will bear their judgment and every sin, evil word, evil thought, and evil act will be laid bare, so they may give an account. But those who reject my salvation will never be able to stand, and by default choose the lake of fire that is prepared for the devil and his angels, and such a thing is not necessary, but each are free to choose. I am he who is coming to judge and make war, And Yahweh's ways will rule the earth in righteousness in my coming kingdom. For you, my church, and even my precious bride, will be taken to the heavens, and you will receive your inheritance, and you will take your places amongst the orders I have prepared for you, even your places amongst Jacob, for you are the Israel of God. For in me, Christ Jesus, there is neither Judean nor Gentile, but a new creation, and that creation will move as one new man. Behold, you will be a new man, and you will be a new creation. Have I not given you the down payment of Holy Spirit, even the seal of the living God, which cannot be broken? Which of you can undo the birth of your natural children? You cannot, because your genetics are passed from generation to generation, and children are permanent. And so it is. The seed of Yahweh created within God's children cannot be corrupted, for it is impossible that you should be plucked from my hands. Have you not read? For you are born again, not of mortal seed, but of immortal, by the word of God which lives and lasts forever. My children, are my words too wonderful? Have you allowed false voices to lead you astray from the single-mindedness in Christ? There is nothing that can remove the seed of Yahweh once it is created within, for the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. So why do you doubt your salvation? Though your flesh will cause you to sin, and I will forgive you and cleanse you as you confess your sins in repentance, there is nothing that can remove God's children from the family of God. For those who live unrighteously, their works will burn, and they will stand naked and ashamed. And for those whose works stand as righteous will receive great reward but God's children receive permanent salvation. If any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. For those who live apostate lives and for those who pretend to live for Christ in name only will fall away as the true church departs. For he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. And for those who tried to make me Lord from a faithless heart and continued in sin will be left to Jacob's trouble for the destruction of the flesh and will need to call on the name of the Lord till the end. And so will it be. 
those who deceived themselves until, until their last breaths and did not die in Christ and never had a saving relationship with me will face their judgment. Do you think Yahweh, who is the searcher of hearts, can be fooled? Do you think that me, Christ Jesus, does not try the hearts of men for faith and trust in me? But so it will be. And I will say to many who call me Lord, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. But for you, my church, my called and faithful and chosen, even every soul who has achieved salvation is also made heir of the promises made by Yahweh to the fathers. For it is written that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. And I have grafted them into the natural olive tree. And all who are created newly in me will be fully restored to perfection and righteousness and true holiness. Have I not promised you spotless garments, my little ones? And I have appointed your inheritance amongst the tribes, for you are the Israel of God, whom I have redeemed from the earth. Quit thinking in terms of academic genealogies. For the blood of Adam is corrupted in sin. As it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Have you not read? They are not all Israel, which are of Israel. For the children of promise are the seed of Abraham by faith. And as it is written, the just shall live by faith. And in me, Christ Jesus, are all things consummated, for the lion shall be in perfect union with the lamb, and you are identified fully with me. Christ Jesus, your Lord. Behold, but to you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise. I am the Son of Righteousness, even the only begotten Son of the Most High God, Yahweh, For there is none like him, and I am he who is here to snatch my church from calamity, even my bride, away to her home in the heavens, and she shall ever be with me. For so shall it be. I will connect you to your true family, for Israel was scattered abroad, and in the Israel of God shall they be gathered, never to be scattered again for you are the Israel of God. So I will snatch my church away to the heavens, my faithful ones, and you will forever be with me, for you are espoused to one husband, Yeshua HaMashiach, and by my Spirit I have made you a chaste virgin and purified the faithful, so they may stand righteous in my atoning sacrifice. When you are taken... You will be rewarded for your faithfulness, and many crowns will you carry away, though some will suffer loss. You will be rewarded beyond your wildest imaginations, for eye has not seen nor ear heard nor entered into the heart of man the things Yahweh has prepared for them that love him. And the faithful, even my bride, will forevermore be with me and they will reign as kings and priests forevermore, for there is no end to my kingdom. And so my angel shall ascend to where you will be with me in the heavens and seal twelve thousand from each tribe. Have you not read my words given to John the Revelator? And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Did you not see the word ascend? The holy angels of heaven descend to the earth, for their home is in the heavens. For a holy angel to ascend, 
He is ascending into the heavens. It is the fallen angels who ascend to earth out of the abyss. Do you not respect the words of my holy word? And they will seal twelve thousand from each tribe listed, Judah, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Naphtali, Manassas, Simeon, Levi, Issachar, Zebulon, Joseph, Benjamin. And so my 144,000 will have the seal of the living God in their foreheads, and they will stand with me on Mount Zion, and they will sing as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb wherever he goes, for these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. The hundred forty four thousand are chosen by Yahweh before the foundations of the earth for such time. They are forged in affliction, and they will possess unique abilities and strengths that I will clothe them in their new garments that I will give. For your garments are tailored specifically for you and will contain your accomplishments and attributes. They will be taken in the gathering of the faithful, but are set apart for my purposes, even the purposes of Yahweh and Yeshua HaMashiach. They come during the great tribulation to lead Israel to safety, but first are taken to marry Christ, for they are his bride, the called, chosen, faithful, and true, even those whom Christ has made pure as a virgin in his atoning blood. And it is you, my bride, who shall serve Yahweh's purposes at my command in the times of the great tr- greatest troubles. For you are the first fruits gathered from the fields of harvest. For I am the Lord of harvest, and now it is time to gather you into my barn, that you may receive the reward of your labors. For those who have gathered wheat will have plenty, and those who have gathered straw shall suffer loss as the chaff burns in the fire. But yet they shall be saved. And so my laborers and people shall come to their in inheritance in me. Yeshua HaMashiach, for I am Lord of lords and King of kings, and I will not be silenced, nor will I be stopped. Is it not written, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, wherever they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions but I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. I, Yeshua HaMashiach, have sent these words by my servant, and by my servant have these words been sent. Behold, I am he who is coming in the clouds, so make yourselves ready, my wise virgins. From Yahweh, the great eternal God. I see your fear, O fallen ones, for now comes your judgment, even the great judgment promised of old, and the times of the great judgment declared in times past by me, Yahweh, the great eternal God, who pronounced your judgment and seven thunders uttered their voices, and so the voice of the Almighty God shall be heard. And my purposes shall be brought together. Even my plans for the ages will be consummated in my Son, Jesus Christ. 
for in the first fruits comes the rewards of harvest for the laborers sent forth by Yeshua HaMashiach, and my wheat will now be gathered into my barn, and the final separation on earth will begin, and Jacob's trouble is here. Behold, I will part the heavens above and shake the earth beneath, and I will gather the remaining heirs of salvation from the earth, and they will come to salvation, and they will call on the name of the Lord till the end, and they will serve me in my temple, and a mighty and great multitude will be saved out of Daniel's seventieth week. I, even Yahweh, will rent the earth and remove the mountains from their places, and all the world shall know that El Shaddai has risen from on high, and the great judgment will now break forth upon the earth when my faithful are gathered, for transgressions will be ended, even the transgression of Jacob and the sins of the house of Israel. In their place will come the rule of righteousness, even the righteous rule of my only begotten Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, in whom I am always well well pleased. It is he who will smite the nations with a rod of iron, and a rule of righteousness will it be, where the lion shall lie down with the lamb, and so shall it be the high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, and the Lord of lords and King of kings will fully unite in eternal consummation, and forever shall his reign be, even Yeshua HaMashiach, for the same is also Jesus Christ. Prepare yourselves, those who dwell on the earth in unrighteousness, for I send my Son to exact my judgment and to smash to pieces all rule of the fallen ones. For their times have come and judgment will fall heavy on the earth. For you have treasured up great wrath against the day of wrath, and the day of wrath is upon you, O worthless ones. For you have defiled yourselves in utter depravity, and you have no peace for your filthy, abominable ways. But before you go to your eternal inheritance, where you will be engulfed in the hottest flames of blue, you will first serve my purposes, for even my enemies obey my voice. And so judgment will begin at the house of God. And I will send my Son, even Christ Jesus, the resurrected Messiah of Israel and the Savior of the world, and he will perform all that I have ordained and promised to the fathers and to the children, and all shall be yea and amen as fulfillment of the promises comes to pass. For the heavens have been made ready for my children, even all whom I have ordained for my purposes before creation began. For I knew each and every one of you in eternity's past, and I set you as a mystery hidden in my heart that I only revealed at the proper time in my eternal plan of salvation. There is nothing that can happen that I am not aware before it happens, And it is I, the Almighty God, who calls things that are not as though they already are. O you fallen ones, you will utterly burn in your approaching judgment, and you were foolish enough to think you could take Yahweh by craft, but I am he who takes the proud in judgment, for they are wise in their own conceits. For I only showed you the worthless mysteries, for I knew you would betray all that is of me. How foolish you are, O fallen ones, and you are not wise. All you have accomplished is your own torment and continual destruction in the hottest flames, and you will swim in fiery brimstone. For so the great lake burns forever, and I will set the seal and you will be utterly forgotten, and you will not come to mind. But this fate is not for you, my chosen, my faithful, even all who are called by my name. Yours is a future of eternal joy 
eternal happiness, eternal bliss, and there will be no end of days, and there will never be a bad day for those who enter into paradise. Behold, I will restore all things and even make them better than my original perfection before corruption fell, for I will create a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwells righteousness, and nothing will enter that is evil nor defiled, for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and makes a lie and they all will have their part in that burning lake where their worm dies not. So there is nothing to fear in your future, my called, chosen, and faithful, and you will ever rule with Yeshua HaMashiach, and there is no end to his kingdom or rule. And I, the great eternal God, even Yahweh himself will make my abode amongst men, and there will be peace and harmonious perfection over all of my creation, and I will wipe all tears away from their eyes, and never again will anyone rise who will trouble you in the least. For I, Yahweh, even the great God, swear these things by my own name, for I can swear by no greater." But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. I, Yahweh, the great eternal God, have sent my words by my servant, and by my servant have my words been sent. I am the great I am, and there is no other. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.